So I would say that if we drill more, we will get easily more than 10 years. And Talking gold with Life of Gold, and today I have here Max, the lead geologist of the project. Perhaps you can help us understand better where Life of Gold currently is in understanding its resource. Life of Gold is in the potential area, and in this Life of Gold area, there are part of the Svekovenia folding system, and there is a lot of exploration coming on, so we are in the right spot. This is very potential, as we have proven here in mining in many, many times. And I would say at this point, we know exactly where the ore is for the next six, seven years. But more geological information help us to get more better understanding. And that six to seven years that you reference is of course supported by an NI43 101. Yeah. But then today we spoke at the pit that there might be potential for significantly more resource. Yeah. Could you perhaps dive into that? Yeah, there is there is an exploration area surrounding us where we have found, especially towards east, same kind of rock type, same kind of vein system, which bears gold To Only lack is that between those areas, we don't have any information. But in my understanding, why wouldn't the veins continue there? Because the system is same. There is no big shear zone fault system between mine and those exploration areas. So I think that the veins will continue. And uh, nowadays we haven't drilled so deep because we don't. There was any need. But I would say that uh, deeper we drill, better results we get. So what you mean with that is we, for, for example, stood in the north pit, I believe. Yeah. And you said that at the current surface of that pit is about the best ore. And you think if you drill even deeper than that, you might be able to find significantly more, right? We have very few deep holes, but those which we have, have good gold crates. Let's say from 150 to 240 levels between them. So I, I think there is more potential also beneath the mine and also the surroundings. The ore isn't visible, but the veins are. But we haven't drilled so large area yet. We discussed that today regarding the veins, right? The gold itself isn't visible. Would you explain to me if you have those milky white thin stripes, those veins, I don't know exact rock anymore, but those are associated with the gold, correct? Yeah, and it's quartz veins mainly. Okay, we have other veins we, where we have quartz and pegmatite, but that, those don't bear any gold. It's only the quartz. And um, most of the gold is associated with arsenoporite, and that's visible. So when you see arsenoporite in the veins, you know you're on the right right. All right. And of course, seeing those veins during the geology stage, during the exploration phase, is very useful. Yeah. Is it also useful during mining or less so? Uh, in one way, yes, it is. If you have a geologist on the for example, on blast field, then you can decide. But the analyzed gives you the best results. And you have to have a lot of analyzed data before you do anything, otherwise. And then just the last, uh, last question for this clip. We know that on paper, on the NI43-101, we're currently looking at roughly six to seven years of life of mine. Yeah. What are the expectations for once we've finally done all that geology work that you've referenced? What are we looking at then? Is it potential for 10 years, maybe a bit longer than that? I have ideas, but not proven ones. But there are signs that uh, we have uh, mined only very small portion of the whole ore system. So I would say that if we drill more, we will get easily more than 10 years. And uh, we don't have expand so much. We have a lot of areas also in the mining permit area that we can drill and I would say 10 years would be easy to 